Let's talk about using templates in RemNote. Templates are useful when you want to describe different concepts that have similar descriptors. For example, I study medicine and I learn a lot about different kinds of diseases. And from a clinical perspective, this means I have to know the symptoms, treatment, diagnostic criteria, so on and so forth, as you can see on the screen for the disease COPD. So I use templates to quickly build a framework to input new information when I come across these in my studies. So let's start from scratch and make a new template so I can show you how it's done. First, come up with a name for your template. I'm gonna call this one Disease Template Demo since I'm demoing how to create one. Next, I'm gonna add children to this template and these are gonna serve as the slots or the components of the template. So going off the earlier example, I'll put onset, symptoms, diagnosis, and treatment. Next, I'll highlight all the children and turn them into slots using the bottom toolbar. You can also type forward slash slot on each child and turn them into slots that way. Or you can use the hotkey control plus alt plus s to turn it into a slot. And that's it. Now my template has been created. Now I'll use it so you can see how they work as well. Let's say I want to add this template to a disease called remnotitis. I'll write out the disease and tag it using the template that we just created, disease template demo. Now it appears on the right hand side and I can expand it here and click all the slots to add them in. And now my template has been applied to the rem and I can quickly input data into the appropriate slots. You can also use a power up rem to automatically add all the slots into your template so you don't have to do it manually. To do this, tag your template with automatically add template. And now when you apply that template to any rem, it will automatically add the slots. And that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.